Good afternoon, it's Bev at Planet Crochet. This afternoon I'm going to be making a cushion for our granddaughter. I have fat quarters in already. This character is Encanto, I believe. I have a contrast for the back. I will be putting the zip at the bottom. So if you do that, make sure your character, if you've got characters, are the right way up. If you're going to put the zip at the bottom of the cushion, which I'm going to do. So for today, you'll need your material, fat quarters, perfect for cushions or beginners. A zip for the size of the cushion you cover you want. Your uh, scissors, some really good ones. I recommend buying some, not any particular makes, but um, definitely some material scissors. Uh, ruler or tape measure. Pins. And, oh, I nearly forgot. Good old machine. This is the um, Aldi's MIDI machine. It's not sponsored in any way, by the way. This is just what I have purchased in the past. I think I got this last year or the year before. I've done vid sewing videos on how to use this machine, threading, etc. I'll leave a link for that below. The material as well. Uh, if you're wondering where I purchased that, that is also Aldi's in a store local to me. I'm in the UK. I know there's um, Aldi's around the world. I don't know if they do the material in that store. So just check online and also in your local store. I know they do um, sewing things now and again and they do, definitely do fat quarters. But whether you can get that character, it's another matter. That's why I don't want to make a mess of this because I've got no others. I've got no uh, more. Right. So what I want to do is I'd, I've not worked out yet the actual size of the cushion cover. I've got to play within this size, but I definitely don't want it any the, the zip 14 inch. I've measured between these two pins. That's that's where the zip ends and starts. You need to do that on both pieces. I've folded one and a half inch on both pieces. Make sure again, you've got if you're going to do a zip at the bottom, put your character the right way around. And same, this one matters as well because this is a butterfly. So I know I've definitely got these the right way around. If you're very unsure, if you're unsure, put them wrong size together. As if you've made it already and then turn it over I've got them the right way up the, the zips gonna go here I've measured 14 inch for the zip turn this over ironed the, the seam one and a half inch and what you need to do is put them together just tuck this up there we go just don't want it falling off and what you're going to do is you're going to sew this make a seam here to the pins and that way to the pins so I'll do this off camera sew to the pin sew to the pin make a seam and then I'll come back after I've done that. I've done the hem for the zip, which is bigger than normal. But I'm not going to use the scraps for anything, so I might as well just make a big hem. Do it that way. I've marked here both ways, both sides for the zipper, so the beginning and the end. And I've marked it out where the pins go. There's the opening. Just move that up there. And what I'm going to do is, on one side, doesn't matter which one you do, put the beginning and end roughly where the pins are. I'll just pin this side in so I know it's not going to move. I'll just put this in for now this side but I'm just going to pin one side 
and that's um, and make sure the zipper goes down the middle here down the opening and that's what I'm going to do now when you're doing your sewing on your machine just make sure I've just altered mine on here for the colour I'm going to use that's going to be on the outside you know the right side of the fabric it's going to be shown so make sure the bottom bobbin has got the depending how you're going to sew this together whether the bobbin is going to be on the right side or the spool is going to be on the right side so make sure you've got matching threads I say that because sometimes with cream and white I've just done it to join these seams here I've used cream and white so it doesn't matter you're not going to see it but when you see the facing stitching you want it to look nice ow always happens <clears throat> I'm just flipping this bit at the end now you've got the zipper there oops Hold on. and then you can see that's now in the middle and what I will do is I'm going to sew one way and um, sew across here And when I do that, I want it as close as I can, like that. Now when I've pinned it all down there, I'm going to pin. Don't stretch it too much, just do it, um, just keep looking underneath and pin this side. You can check, I'll just do the top end as well. Just check how it looks by turning your piece of fabric over. And when you lay it flat, you don't want it like gaping like this, you want it to sit nice and flush. So you could do it from this side if you like. Secure both ends on the underside, turn it over, and a bit of a tip is tack it down then you don't have to have pins and you can see where the zipper is underneath there's the beginning where you're going to open the zip so you know it's just right so yeah you can do it this way there you go like that so i'll do this off camera and i'm going to tack mine down so i don't have the pins in and then i'm just free to use the machine I'll come back when I'm ready for the sewing machine. There you go. I have tacked both sides of the zip. There it is on the underside. When you get in nearer to the zipper, you need to just lift your foot and zip it up because you can't get around that knobble. Make sure your foot's back down. 
and as you saw I just need to know approximately where I'm going to and then I'm going to go across and back down the other side there you go I've sewn the zipper in which end is it this is it there you go now, it's not exactly how I really wanted it and it's wide it's the stitching here is further away from the zip teeth than the other side I tried purchasing a different foot for zips and I couldn't find any in the store so I'm gonna have to do it online because I want it to be the same across from the teeth both sides but anyway it's in I've secured the um, stitching that's going to be on the inside now when you do the sides top and side you must remember which I'm going to do right now to unzip your cushion and that's because I will sew down across and down again and if I kept it shut here at the zipper it would be really hard to get it open if impossible and then you can turn it the right way around I'll just set my machine up and we'll do that for the size of the cover you want it smaller than the actual um, insert I'm going to use an 18 inch insert for this cushion cover I know the zips 14 inch the opening so I want three inch extra so I'll do one and a half this side one and a half this side 17 down and, and then obviously across and then back up again so the cover will be 17 inch square and I will purchase if I ever got one upstairs an 18 inch insert you want that plumpness you don't want it baggy anyway i'll get on with the just marking out and then i'll get the machine going Now because this machine, it's got a reverse, but it's not very good, what I like to do, keep the needle in, turn your work as if you're going to go back on yourself, and then just go back a bit, and again, turn it round, and it's the same as a reverse, a normal machine would, it can do it, but this one I've noticed it doesn't work really well, so I just do it, it takes a little bit longer. This little machine we have a little cutter right here there you go now i didn't start right on the edge here 
So I'm just going to finish this off the same way. There you go. I'll sort these bits out. Oh, pin left in there. And I'll show you what I do with the excess. When I've got all the pins out. I will take my pinking shears. Obviously, it's a little bit harder for you to see. But I go about a centimetre from your stitch line and just cut. And this gives it a jagged edge. It will save me using cotton, thread, it gives a nice pink edges, pinking edges. It's going on the inside anyway, but it will just save. Now the bottom has less waste, so just neatly go similar length about a centimetre like I said these fat quarters are perfect if you want to do a make a cushion or you want to learn to sew you can find them in most stores as I said I got the, this this one from Aldi's um, I believe Lidl and Lidl's worldwide shop as well I know when I went to Spain, there was a, a little in there, on there, the bottom of Spain there. So I know, and now I don't know if they do do um, sewing bits and bobs, I'm not sure. So we've nearly done, just need to go up this side. Again, about a centimetre from your seam. Again, if you buy yourself some sewing scissors and some of these pinking scissors, keep them away from children. One, you don't want them to cut themselves, and two, you don't want them blunt for when you come back to your next sewing project. I don't sew daily, I just do it now and again. Right, and for the corners, see the corner? Just go across so you've got when you turn it inside out, you haven't got as much bulk. So I'll do it now. Snip across this one and this one. Be careful you don't cut your stitching, don't go onto it. That's your inside out. Turn it right way around. Now I don't know if I've got an insert upstairs, I did have, but I've been using the stuffing out of it for my crochet items when I've been doing a pattern and I needed some stuffing. I use the brand new, the new cushion inserts, it's not old. There you go. Now ideally I could have used a smaller zip. But it's what I had in. There you go. It's nice, doesn't it? There you go, that's the bottom. So that's your cushion cover. There's the front and the back. But either way, they're both pretty and girly. I'm saying that because this is for a granddaughter. If your son likes Encanto, that's fine. And there you go. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And uh, I do have on my Etsy shop different other materials, different characters. I've seen some more today that I won't mind getting. And uh, I have purchased some today. It's called Fisher Price. That's a, a well-known toy here in the UK. I think it's worldwide, but I know in the UK um, Fisher Price was around definitely in the 70s, maybe 60s as well. 
and I've got some materials today uh, of that so I'm going to make another cushion cover. I've already prepped some more, another one that goes with this Encanto and that's that one and the green one that came in the pack like I said from Aldi's. Anyway that's enough from me, Bev at Planet Crochet. I'll catch you on another video. Bye for now.